I realized very late that I was ace. The first time I noticed something felt strange was when I kissed a boy for the first time. Everyone described feeling euphoric, etc., but I felt nothing at all. For my next relationships, it was the same, and whenever it felt like we would go a step further, I felt uncomfortable and sick, so I stopped and we would break up. I hated that I ended up hurting not only myself, but also these guys that I actually really like. I felt like something was wrong with me for a long time and I just hated it. Then, after finally looking up what I was feeling, trying to make sense of everything, I found the word asexuality. It was such a relief to find out I wasn't alone in feeling like that and I wasn't broken because of it. Now I have a community where I can talk to people like me, and thankfully I have friends who understand me. But so far, I haven't been able to breathe a word of it to my family, afraid of what they might say or do. I'm not sure I'll be able to come out one day, but I hope I can find the courage to be myself and not lie about these things to them anymore. I can only hope that day will come, and that they will be okay with it and love me nonetheless. I started questioning my sexual identity when I was 14. I had just broken up with my first boyfriend and I had reflected on the fact that I didn't feel much physical attraction towards him despite being very much romantically attracted. For a while I brushed it off as being a late bloomer, but those feelings just never started for me. When I came out to my mom, she put me in therapy. I was told by my doctors that I wasn't meshing with my femininity. And my mom specifically said she thinks she's ace when she was talking to them. This caused a lot of self-doubt and I wondered if I had a medical condition. It wasn't until I broke up with my second boyfriend that I realized it wasn't going to happen for me. He tried to get me to like certain things through uh -huh, touching and not very consensual methods. He took pride in trying to turn me sexual, but I just wasn't physically attracted to him. I've never been physically attracted to anyone and it took a lot of self-reflection and acceptance to get me to this point. It's unfortunate that my story is not uncommon and my one wish for other young aces is that they understand their boundaries and understand they don't for any reason need to change. I hope you say no when you need to and realize that you shouldn't have to be uncomfortable or let people do whatever they want to you for you to be in a loving relationship. It's okay to be ace, and it's okay to have boundaries, even if other people think that those boundaries are a little bit weird. Stay strong and magical, my little ace family. I knew from a very young age that I did not conform to the heteronormative standards of society. For six years, I was looking for the label that would best represent me, but I never felt 100% myself. Many times I felt pressured that I have to make love to someone to see how it is. I had many relationships that I felt uncomfortable with because they wanted physical contact while I only wanted hugs or kisses. Many times they feel like they were more of a friendship than a relationship, even though I knew in my heart they did not want that. After my last separation a year ago, I sat down and thought about what was wrong. When I was little, I said that I was asexual, but I was convinced even by my circle of friends that you have to have sex to see. Well, no. I did not have to do it to know that I am asexual. How could one know he or she is asexual until knowing sexuality? I'm 34 years old and recently did I realise this. I had decided not to get married. As you know, in Indian culture, we, especially girls, don't have the right to decide about marriage, when, whom, I was forced, and as I resisted, situations worsened. My parents physically and mentally harassed me. I was home jailed, accused of being arrogant and rejecting proposals. In fact, I hadn't rejected any because I was that tortured and compelled, and without even being unwilling. I had been ready to marry, as I felt I was burdened to them. This happened from 21 to 25 years old, a series of incidents. Here girls could be abused by anyone and people glorify it based on cultures. I was even teased by friends during school college time like a buffoon for being ignorant about what my like-aged people were discussing, love, romance, sex, or maybe more. At 26, I got married after all sorts of dramatic incidents. That day he, late married according to the Indian system, was so thrilled and playing with my body as though he got a toy. As to escape from torture was the only aim which led me to sign my marriage agreement, this was kind of another torture. 
I was more heartbroken. He raped me at that house, and when the same was repeated at a lodge we hired the next day, I screamed so that people could gather to save me from him, but in vain. A few days, I lied like a dead body, thinking to have sex as duty, getting raped. If he ever looked at my face, eyes, he could realise, but he never. I started getting depressed and was angry toward my parents, our culture, relatives, friends, and I started keeping distance with them. Later, I started feeling repellent towards his physical touch as I was that discomfortable. Years went by, my parents, to support me financially, gave me a building to run a business. Though I wanted to start a fitness slash dance studio, as my choice was not valued, I was forced to start a coaching institution, for which I had to work all alone, from peon to the professor, to the manager, to the all in all, day and night. Along with that for extra income, I took up two other projects. My so-called perfect husband, who was egotistic, male chauvinist, a hypocrite, a pervert who never tried to convince me but wanted to use my body for his happiness, judged me as though I had an illicit affair. Without any arguments, he pushed me to my parents' house. I was ignored of proving my innocence, and my self got traumatised mentally, affected my work too. Later I started thinking, why so much of sexual abuse even though I was not sexually interested? tortured, raped, and what else. Then I came to know about asexuality. I researched in Google, YouTube, Facebook, and could relate myself with the experience shared in the social media ace community. Now I've separated from him after over eight years of marriage. Now I feel to work for those who are suppressed and oppressed in this community 